Hi, welcome to the channel. This is Beyond Authentic Health and Beauty. My name is Lisa and today's video is going to be completely unedited with no bells and whistles or anything. So no details on screen, um, nothing popping up. I'm going to try and tell you as much as I can in the video itself because I'm not going to be able to edit this because unfortunately my laptop is still with the repair team. So um, yeah, this is just what it is. So basically, what is today's video? Well, I have a rock a box for <laughs> I have a rocket box for you unless I just broke everything as I just did that um and this has been here for a few days now I wanted to get this up as soon as it arrived I was hoping that I'd have my laptop back and be able to edit but um unfortunately that isn't the case so I just thought you know what let's just get it recorded and get it up let's just see if we can do this as a live without being too sweary without my fibro kicking in too much I have had a coffee and I do have my backup coffee here as well. By the way, can I just say, happy Pride. I know, right? Pride Month is here. So I've got trans flag colours on this eye. I've got the non-binary flag colours on this eye. And obviously I've got my rainbow flag um, Pride mug. And uh, yeah, normally I would have put my progress flag just up behind me. But um, I couldn't get it undone because it's clipped on in the filming room. It's clipped on with some great big like proper light like, strong clips and my hand just wasn't strong enough to undo it so unfortunately I'll have to do that on another video but anyway let's crack on with this shall we so this is the June rocker box it feels very light and it feels like it could be almost like a box of pencils or something in there right then so I normally give you the first peek so there you go I hope you could see what's in there I couldn't um right then oh straight on it's telling me there's a palette so I'm going to try and ignore that um, as much as I can so that's the little sheet that will tell us all the prices and things a little bit later so first of all let's grab this out what's this anatomicals that's when I fell for the leader of the hair pack deep conditioning hair packs okay don't know this brand at all hair packs by anatomicals um hair today hair tomorrow but what about hair yesterday what Right, no idea what this is. So these are just, oh, okay, so these are just a couple of um, hair conditioning packs. That's interesting. I have just started doing my um, Bond Plex system by Makeup Revolution. So I have just started doing that. So my hair is starting, I think, to feel a little bit better. Although, to be fair, the shampoo and conditioner in it just feels like an ordinary shampoo and conditioner. So I might give this a go when I've done a couple more runs of the Bonplex um, and see what this is like. I'm really funny about getting hair products in mystery boxes, but to be fair, there are three packs in here and normally with quite a few of them, you only get a single sachet. So that's quite good. Interesting to see what the retail value of that is. What's this, a little jar? Oh, please don't be that sa- Hang on, this is the Sheer Butter Skin Sugar Scrub. Now, I have had a few of these little jars with these items in by this brand before. And to be honest, I haven't used any of them. There was a body butter, a whipped body butter that we got from one of the boxes quite a while ago now. Um, and it's still in my little tub to use because when I, when I reach for a body butter, in all honesty, I was about to say I'll reach for the one that's here. And I just realized, oh, oh I just dropped the box. Oh, it's fine. Um, I just realised that it isn't actually next to me here. But anyway, normally I've got a um, Sopa Dopa, Sopa Dupa, that brand. I've got one of their body butters that I use. So anyway, this is probably going to go into the giveaway box. That's the first item that I'm not going to use. Right then, then we've got... Did I drop anything? Oh no, I didn't. Um, these are just small items. So we've got the Evelyn Rose Luscious Shower Milk by Crabtree and Evelyn. And this is going to be rose scented. Um, let me just see. Yeah, it's got a seal on it, so I'm not going to open that. That seems like a mini or a travel size, a deluxe mini or something. Um, so that's not going to be open. That's going to go in a giveaway as well, because if you are regular to this channel, you will know I do not mess with rose scented items. So then there were two more items in the box. We have a, oh, a smoothie stick lip crayon by the brand i guess smoothie stick it's in the shade saucy what does that say saucy masala it's kind of like sort of a a dark brownie sort of nudie color should we see if i can now you see this is where editing me normally stops and then i have like five minutes of trying to get the uh this sort of sticky plastic 
packaging off because I can never get it open um, and I think that's going to be the problem today because looking at it yeah there's no way for me to get into this oh yes hang on it's there look oh I've done it oh I've done it live as well that's so cool right normally that takes me a good 10 minutes but it does take all of the ingredient information off I mean it's too small to see anyway but you know that's a bit of a worry um right then oh look at that though look at the size of it right let me just swatch that for you now that see why was that all the way up like that that's a bit weird right anyway um I've just seen the sodding label it's the beauty crop I don't mess with them so the beauty crop is a white label company basically this is probably worth it's going to say in the packet that it's worth something like 20 quid I'm telling you but this is actually probably bought from AliExpress from a Chinese company which then just put a bit of branding on it um, and they probably buy it for less than a quid per item probably 50 or 60p per item um, that's probably why it feels quite cheap in my hand the componentry feels quite shite um, I mean it's a nice enough color but beauty crop isn't a brand that I mess with so that's a shame um, that is going to go in um, probably in the bin to be honest with you because I wouldn't wish that on anybody because yeah there's question marks if you go onto reddit and look at beauty crop and la la beauty and luna by luna and all of these ones um there are a lot of brands and a lot of questions there over the actual ingredients in some of these brands um how true they are and interestingly the ingredient wrap is on the outside of that packaging i've never seen a brand do that before ever in the disposable packaging that you have to rip so now that's open you can't see what the ingredients are that seems dodgy AF to me it really does but anyway the last item in here is the uh, Bella Pierre Cosmetics brown eyed girl eyeshadow palette it's so dinky look at that it's tiny let's have a little look see um oh wow that's really interesting for summer it's summer and we've got neutral brown with goldy Christmassy autumny shades why have they put that in there oh rocker box so rocker box normally is my favorite box of all it's one it's the only one that i've kept going um of the main sort of beauty subscription boxes i don't class um latest in beauty as a subscription box in the same way because you pick those items so this is the only one of the sort of mystery subscription boxes that i keep going um and it's it's this is a really crap box like a really crap box let's have a look right okay so the brown this mini palette is supposed to be worth twenty eight ninety nine. I I call BS on that. This is something you would see in TK Maxx probably in a month's time. Probably this exact item in TK Maxx for four ninety nine. Um, and it's something which I mean, Bella Pierre isn't a bad brand, but it's not twenty eight pound or twenty nine pound for four shadows worth brand, is it? I mean. That's not even Pat McGrath prices are up that at that sort of price point. That is ridiculous. Seven pound fifty nearly per eyeshadow pan. Uh, eyeshadow pan. All right, they're fairly big size pans, but seriously, that is up there with some of the high end, the super high end brands like Pat McGrath um, and even Charlotte Tilbury and some of those other sort of really high end sort of eyeshadow brands. That's the sort of prices you'll be paying for those. So I think that is. A little bit ridiculous to be honest with you but anyway i'm not even going to swatch it because i'm not going to use that that's going to go in a giveaway or it's going to go on depop or something because i'm just not going to use it those aren't colors that i like i like this i like bold bright statement colors not this anyway let's have it oh i'm so pissed off with this box oh I want to swear so many swear words is my immediate reaction, but I can't because I can't edit this. Right. Anyway, uh, this says, please, can we just discuss how gorgeous the shades in the palette are? Really? Gorgeous if you're a basic bitch. I'm not a basic bitch. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, I, I actually do know somebody who would probably really like these and probably really appreciate them. So I might just stick it in a, in a little friend mail for her um because it's definitely not something that i'm gonna wear but anyway 28.99 for that um this uh the crabtree and roselin rose shower milk it's a deluxe sample yep and the rrp is nine pounds so nine pounds for this itty bitty little bitty itty bitty sample i really wish beauty boxes would stop putting rose scented stuff in because rose is one of those marmite scents you either love it or hate it now 50 percent of people that get this box will go oh it's rose it's lovely <laughs> but the other 50 percent are like no, thank you. What's the point of that? So that's really annoying. Um, the beauty crop. 
RRP, seven pounds. Actually, for beauty crop, seven pound, that's actually not bad. So for seven pound, I get it. Well done, seven pounds. Um, I mean, it's still, you can hear the component rattling around in there. That will not last five minutes and it is cheap as crap. So there we go. Um, and I do like the fact that they've hidden the logo on it. So you can't even really see that it's the beauty crop um, or the beauty crap as I call them. I mean, literally the logo is only there once you take the lid off. So when you, <laughs> when you buy this, it's literally like, oh, smudge stick, smoothie stick. Oh, is that a brand? Oh, what's this? And then you take the lid off and it says beauty crap. So there you go. That says an awful lot, doesn't it? But seven pounds for that. Um, the Anatomicals Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. This is full size for a pack of three. That's good. And this is only five pounds. That's really cool. That's really cool. Although I've got to say so far, this is a really low value box. Normally it's 50, 60 pounds in the box, but so far I don't think we're going to get up to that, do we? Um, no, we're definitely not. Right, anyway, so there we go. Five pounds for those. And then the last item is the Sheer Bliss Skin Strawberry Scrub. And again, that apparently is a, oh, strawberry. Okay, that's a deluxe sample size. It's a scrub. Let me, I'm, I am going to open it. I'm going to sniff this then. Oh, 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 that smells like, do you know when you were a kid, or when I was a kid, so that's like probably 30 years ago, so they might not even make them anymore. The, you used to get mousse, and it was like in the little plastic tubs. It was like in like, like a little yogurt pot tub type thing, but it was mousse. It was like a whipped mousse, and it was probably full of all the e-numbers, all the fake smells and colours, ingredients and flavours, and probably like a ton of sugar. I've got no, I don't even know if they still make them, but this smells like that strawberry mousse. So it's probably full of really artificial artificial scents and ingredients, but let's just have a little, I will have a little dip and see. Um, wow, it is like a sugar scrub, but it's like a really nice sugar scrub. And there you go, look at that. It's taking that Bella Pierre off my um, off my hands. I wonder what, it, should, I, should I taste it? Oh yeah, don't eat that. La, 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 la. Smells nice, doesn't taste nice. Oh, don't eat that. Right, so that's the, like, uh, yeah, definitely don't eat that. I can't even edit this. Hang on a second. Oh, mm, yeah, don't eat that. Ugh, right then. So this month is really disappointing, guys. Um, it, it really is. And, and I just said the word guys, which I never even say. It's because I've been watching a certain YouTuber who says it all the time. And every time they say it, I'm like, Ugh. but it's it's now obviously sunk into my brain. And I can't even edit this out. But there you go. So what is the retail value? So... £29 for that one. It's apparently the Hot Girl Summer. There's nothing summer about this. Brown, brown, crappy, beauty crap lipstick, um, a hair conditioner, a, a mini shower gel, a scrub, and, and a brown palette. What's summer about that? Anyway, right, £29 for the palette. Um, £9, we'll say, £9.16 for, uh, for, for this. I mean, would anybody pay nine pounds for this? How how many meals is this? It's going to be like 50 mil or 30 mil or something, isn't it? What does that say? Hang on. 15 mil. Mm, nine pounds for 15 mil. BS. Anyway, nine pounds. We'll give them that. So that's, uh, so what did I say? 29. So that's 38 pounds, give or take. Um, plus five pounds for the lipstick thing. So that's 38. That's 45 pounds, give or take. Five pounds for this. And then, so that's £50, and then £3.99 for the um, strawberry scrub, which, okay, so technically £53. However, I question the price point on the Belle Pierre. I question the price point on this. And you know what? I probably would even question, there is no way I would pay £7 for that beauty crop lipstick to be honest with you um it's the sort of quality that I, I don't know like i live in leeds and leeds market has got lots of well two it used to have lots but it's got two makeup stores where you buy things like laval and all of those really really budget kind of line um beauty items and i've got some of those items they're in my collection i still use them some of them i think are really good <laughs> This on that stall would probably be maybe £1.52. £2. It's that sort of item. So £7 for this is absolute BS. But anyway, that's the box. What do I think overall? I think it's an absolute travesty, to be honest. Um, 
there is nothing in this that says summer to me it's really interesting on the on the picture there look there's a really nice hot pink lipstick that would have been a really nice shade to have not this kind of dark nude kind of meh kind of color um that doesn't look interesting to me at all likewise that palette does not scream summer to me but I do know somebody who will probably really like the colours in that because she likes much more of a natural nude sort of muted kind of colour story and I think she'll probably really like that palette. So I will send that out. So then my star item, oh god, it's got to be the hair conditioning pack. And I think in what 18 months of doing YouTube um, with the beauty content on the other channel and now on this channel I think this is probably going to be the first time I've ever picked a hair item out of one of these subscription boxes as my as my star item normally there'd be a rotating star on screen there so imagine there's a lovely star Ooh, look a star Ooh. Um, and my dud which would normally get the thumbs down um, I would say my dud item would be these two the rose scent that i'm not even going to open and the bella crop that i wish i hadn't opened so beauty crop that i wish i hadn't opened because i didn't know the brand until they took the lid off so that says an awful lot that says so much about how crap this brand is that the branding for it is hidden under the lid so you don't even know what it is you're buying until you open the lid until you've already bought it that should tell you absolutely everything you want to know about the quality of beauty crap it's crap that's why I call it that. Anyway, they get my dud. So do let me know down in the comment section all of your thoughts and feelings. Let me know what you think about this box. Do you think it's better than I do? Do you think it's a more it's a more value box than I'm giving it? Like if this turned up on your doorstep as a beauty box, would you go, oh, I can use all those colours. Like the palette looks really pretty and I could use this lovely lipstick and then I could scrub it off with the strawberry whip and go in the shower with this with my hair mask. I mean, you know, it's obviously thought out would you get excited about this box do let me know all your thoughts and feelings down in the comment section down below um if you haven't already please do subscribe to this channel also down below in the um in the description box there should be some links to the authentic army so if you scroll down there's a whole bunch of people down there and those channels are all micro channels here on youtube really small channels that tell it as it is we go beyond the pr hype to give you our authentic reviews of products and, and that can be anything there's people on there that do beauty reviews there's people on there that do spooky reviews there's all sorts of bits and pieces so do make sure you check those out also i've got to give a plug don't forget on thursday morning i will be doing a live stream here on this channel it's called a coffee and catch up and literally i sit here we have a coffee we have a catch up we have a good old natter starts at 11 a.m uk time goes for about two hours um come and join us come and have a good old natter it's like a coffee morning with your mates except we're all virtual so you know whatever whatever that means um but yeah do come and join us for that then friday evening it's over to making it up which is kirsty kirsty's channel kirsty's a good friend of mine here on youtube um and she's got a beauty and spooky channel and she does a friday night natter 8 p.m uk time and then on sunday evenings it's back over to beyond authentic which is my witchcrafty witchy and wild channel um and over there at 7 p.m uk time i do a self-care sunday and tarot hour so if that sounds like something you'll be interested in please do check out all of those all of those details should also be down in the description box below but for now everybody thanks so much for watching if you're amazed that i got through this without all the millions of jump cuts because i can't believe this has flowed so well so if you're amazed that i got through this please give this video a massive a mahoosive thumbs up also if you like pride colors give this a thumbs up can you also double check everybody that you are subscribed to the channel and make sure your bell icon is clicked youtube is doing a fantastic job at the moment of unsubscribing people and even if people are subscribed, it's removing the bell icon. So please make sure your bell icon is, is dinged so that uh, YouTube notifies you each and every time I upload a video. But there you go. That is it from me today. All that's left to say is stay you, stay authentic, and I will see you on another video. Bye-bye.